So, since the beginner's grind, I've had a lot of people asking me, Jubego, what are you talking about China server? What do you mean you, that's, that's, that's a totally different account. That's not your Jubego account. I can see, obviously, that it's a totally different account. China server, I don't understand. How do you even get to China server? I don't get it, I'm very confused. So, I'm gonna show you real quick exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about here. If you click on the top right hand on your summoner name, uh, right, oh, it doesn't have my mouse cursor, that's fine. Uh, where you click on like level one, uh, you go to your settings, right? If you guys have not been here, go check it out. Uh, you can go, you can see your Hive ID and all that good stuff. You can log out, you can go ask, come to us a question. Why don't I get that five? Don't ask them that question, they'll just be pissed off more. Yeah, don't ask them stupid questions, like really. They'll just ignore you and they'll be more pissed off at the people playing Summoner's War. Because they have all these other games that they have to deal with too. And they will literally just ignore you. Um, so you can click on your Summoner name on the global thing. It's not everyone's going to have global there. Most people are. But uh, click next to your Summoner name and it will say please select the server to change to. Now, uh, this is not going to just switch a server and you're going to still have your same monsters and everything. This is going to start a new section, not a whole new account. This is going to start a new section of your account on that specific server. So you will have, it's like your same account, it's all the same Hive account, all linked up to each other. But this is just different islands, you can have an island on each server. So you have Global, Asia, Europe, this one's China, this one's Japan, and this one is Korea. Korea number one. Uh, so yes, you can, you can have an account on each server. I have accounts on each server for my, uh, for my account. And yeah, so this is the account that's my main Jubagel account is on Global. I have my little Snoopy account, that's where we got Snoopy Magic, because I got my first... Oh, congratulations, someone just got a dragon in chat. Uh, but this is where I got, um, on my Asia account, I got a Kumar. Uh, I got a, I got a Nat 4, that's why we call it Snoopy Magic, because I got a Nat, uh, a Nat 5 at like level 4 or something like that. And then we have Europe. I got some monsters on Europe, I don't have any Nat 5s or anything crazy, but it's another level 40. Uh, then I have China, uh, for the, that we've been doing on the Beginner's Grind, the one with Charlotte on it. Uh, then we have this, this is just a baby account, and that's just the baby account. It's just like levels, like 2, 3, whatever. Uh, just every time, i just been doing logins every month, and seeing what we get. Then if we get anything good, we'll do videos with it, but if we don't, then I'm not going to play on it, I'm just going to continue to log in and collect my daily. So what is what is good about this and what is bad about that? Okay. So you can have you can have six uh, six little islands for your account. The cool thing about it is you get six times the monthly rewards, six times the you can just log in and keep collecting things on the islands as long as you have it only takes a couple minutes a day. Really, it takes like a minute per account. You just go and tap the mana things and you log in and you collect like you get whatever you get for the day. And then at the end of the month, you get a like dark scroll. Maybe you'll get something good. Uh, also, there's like event scrolls. So like we just had an, uh, an event where everyone got a uh, fire, wind and water scrolls. And just by clicking the event thing and you don't have to like you don't have to like grind for some of the some of the events so then i got six accounts that just got three scrolls each that's 18 scrolls that's not bad not bad uh just because i have i have three on each so maybe we get maybe we get something good you know you never know you never know so that's nice to have multiple accounts so that you have better chances of getting something and then if you actually do get something you'd be like oh, okay now i can actually play with this one of these cool cool little toys so yeah consider doing uh consider just it's not gonna be anything crazy you don't need to make a whole new hive account you don't need a second email or six emails uh it's just you click on it and it starts the game over on a new account kind of but not a new account it starts the game over on that server so you have like it you know the pink crystal pops up and it's like blah 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 story of summoners war because all of us paid attention to that right uh and then and then you could just go back uh you have to you have to create a new summoner name but it's all under the same high ID, right so then like let's say you're on asia then you go click on the left uh you click on the little icons this level one for asia 
uh, while you're on that server and then you could just switch back to the global server and all your global stuff is still going to be there all your monsters all your 7000 nat 5s that you love so much or your zero nat 5s that you love so much because most most players have zero uh well most players have like between zero and two right uh so yes that's it oh my god except for the players in uh in here wow everyone's getting nat 5s today all right guys so that is, yeah, that's just um, that's just switching the different servers. And I think it's cool because you get a better chance of maybe actually getting something without spending money just by logging in. Yeah, you got to be patient, but you got six chances of getting a cool toy to play with. And you don't have to grind on all of them all the time. You don't have to even get to level 40. Like, literally, you could just be at, like, level one or two and just keep collecting rewards. And if you get something, then maybe you play the account. So, anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and it's a cool thing for, I think, uh, a lot of the free-to-play players or the players that don't have a lot of money that they want to spend uh, to do. So, anyway, I'll see you guys, as always, in the next video.